Okay, you guys have been asking for how to program the ghost modules for a long time, and I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I don't even really know, but I know it's easy to learn, so let's learn it together. Last year, we had, back in February, the first one of the original circuit boards that I had made. Uh, we actually had to do a little bit of figuring out why something was messing up. Let me show you what that is, and you'll understand why we need to be able to get into the programming and make changes. Look at this corner. And you look at this corner, this one will be perfect and that one will have a weird little blip. The difference with this one is right at the very end, it gets to here and then it jumps to here and then it goes back to there. Very weird. All right, I have it way darker. You should be able to see it a little bit better here. So you can tell it's getting a little bit darker right in there. And then on this side, it's lighting up in a perfect fluid motion. Okay, so I'm gonna get into the programming. I gotta find out where that one little inconsistency was at and then change it. And then I'm gonna make a new file, upload that ghost module, and we should have it fixed. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna pack in a bunch of weird stuff into this video. So first of all, we are going to play around with this. This is an old, very bad example of what I did as I was learning all of this stuff. Now, all it is is one of the power LED strips with a bunch of individual LEDs on there, and then I cut the back side so that I could isolate all the grounds. Now, in the video right here, you could check that out. That's the initial, it's like a 35 minute how-to video. It walks you through how I made these, which are Basically the same exact thing, but instead of chopping up the backside and making it all ugly and taking forever to do it, I flip the LEDs around 180 degrees when I mount them to this board. What that means, instead of having a power strip that goes along the front and then a ground strip along the front and the whole backside being ground, since I flipped it, now the polarity is different. So now I only have one ground strip that goes across the front, the top section is now power, and now the whole back is power as well. I know that sounds geeky, I just don't care. It's important. We only have to make one little tiny slit and that isolates the ground. So, let me show you the difference. One little tiny slit right here, swing, just tiny little cut, right, with the razor blade, versus that same amount of work as well as all oh, this ugly, gnarly stuff on the back side, and then running a big, ugly wire all the way across the front to connect all of the power together. Yeah, not a good look. Either way, we're gonna play with those. Let's dive in. On another topic, I've got my new order of ghost boards. So that's what all of this is about. Ghost is leading the way. Think about ghost as kind of the universal engine that's gonna power all of this type of stuff. So I do have to modify this thing, get it ready. I'm gonna do a few of those and then pot them tonight, as well as just demonstrate how all of this stuff works. So first off, I want you to understand that what I'm gonna use for this video is going to be an already potted ghost module. This is the same exact thing. This guy is open to the elements and you can mess it up. This guy, you kinda can't mess up too much. So we sell this for $70 and this for 150. It just means that you don't have to do all the terrible work that you're gonna see me time-lapse mode do right now. I can feel my body fold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. Okay, so now you see how I got something that looks like this by working on the part that looks like that. Those are the side by sides. They're the same dealy. Let's just go ahead and program this new one since we just made it. We're gonna check it and see what it functions like when I hook it up to this little strip right here. Next part is kind of weird. There's not really any practical reason why you should have 30 pin ribbon cable, a crimper, and the little 30 pin IDC connector things. This is what we're gonna do. I'm just showing you literally from scratch how all of this is gonna come together. So bear with me for a minute. Got one of those, got one of those, and what we need to do is put our ribbon cable inside, crimp it down, and then connect it, and what I'll do from there, which is different than what I've done in the past, is instead of wiring a bunch of individual wires to the LEDs, I'm gonna wire right from the ribbon cable straight to the LEDs. Another thing, something worth noting, if you don't want to do what we're about to do, you can buy LED strips 
you can buy ribbon cable already with the connectors at the end for not much money. In this case, I'm gonna be using these to standardize all of my GTR lightning bolts like I showed earlier. And I want them all to come with this particular ribbon cable because where the ghost module connects to the LED board, you can actually kind of see a slight reflection inside of the headlight. And I don't want to reflect ribbon like that. I want to reflect something that can kind of blend in the background. So just wanted to say that you don't have to do this. You don't have to buy the crimpers. You don't have to buy a hundred feet of ribbon cable, but I did. So let's cut into it and make kind of the same thing I just showed you on those gray strips but with these ones. We're only gonna connect one side of this. Now the other side, we're gonna strip and we're gonna connect to the actual circuit board itself. This little connector right here, it's got a little indention in it. And then this guy has a little indention in it. And so you put those two things together and then you crimp it down. And now you've got this fancy-ish looking thing. And if you don't want that to get messed with all the time, that's where you put this little top connector on there. So I'm gonna do that. And it just holds the ribbon down nice and pretty like, keeps it stronger. You've got that on one end, it's coming off the other. So now what we wanna do, we want to strip this. I always have a particular way of doing this. It probably isn't the right way, but I don't care. So I'm gonna strip, I always start with the black wire right here at number one. Now I've been told there's some reasoning behind the colors, which is cool. It's like the same thing as resistors, but I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna just continue my way forever. In the comments, if you know the whole reasoning behind the black, I believe is ground. And then you've got your like resistor colors with the little saying like never eat shredded wheat, but instead of it for North, South, East and West, it's for like these things. Some pretty weird stuff out there. You geeks, I swear. I want this to be about, let's call it 12 channels, right? So I know that I've got 10 channels in between black and brown. So that's 10 right there. I'm gonna do channel 11 and channel 12. Now, what's gonna happen next is I'm gonna strip these and I'm gonna solder them directly to the back of this ugly old school circuit board. We've uploaded a switchback file, which is gonna alternate between white and amber. We're just gonna see if we got lucky and it's gonna alternate in the right pattern. If not, what it's gonna do is, instead of it saying channel one is white and then channel two is white and channel three is white, sometimes it'll do that in a linear pattern. 28 channels total, so one through 14 is white and then 15 through 28 would be amber. I think what happens a lot more often than that is channel one is white, channel two is amber, channel three is white, channel four is amber. Zigzag. So we've got these little pins. It's got 15, 15 little wires in two rows. So are you following this? Anyway, I'm just gonna strip these, shut up and keep going. Ooh, cool. Just got an idea. Because we have the GLP file, which is the work file that you actually use to make changes before you compile it and get the hex file, which is the file that goes to the ghost controller, we have the GLP. Let me look at that really quick. I'm gonna open it up in the ghost sequence designer and see if I can learn from that if it's alternating or if it's linear. I think it's probably alternating. Okay, I have no idea if this is, this looks like it's correct, but it says set up standard tail 28 animated switchback. I'm like, what? I don't know. I'm not certain if this is even the right one, but it says animated switchback. So let's look. That's start. We got turn. Turn, we got one, channel one, channel two, three, four. Weird. Now what would be after 14, 15? This is not the right file, sir. Not the right file, damn you. All right, let's look back in there and find the right freaking file. All right, I failed miserably. I was thinking that I would be able to look at the GLP file, which is the work file. It seems like it's giving me information about the tail light animation. So let's find out. What we need to do, we've got this now. We're gonna hook up 
some wires directly to the actual LEDs. And then we have one wire that has to connect directly to power. I'm gonna get a wire to connect directly to the power from here. And then everything else, I will just solder this little ribbon wire directly to the back of the first two LEDs and see what happens when I power on the sequencer. All right, let's give this little guy a test. What we wanna see happen is power go here, touch the back of it and stuff lights up. And wouldn't you knew it, it works. I actually have a lot of videos that I need to make um, and I just haven't been because I've had so much crazy GTR stuff happening lately. But I had to do some GTR stuff that involved all of this, so hey, why not, right? Okay, so we've got what we wanted there. We're gonna do these first three. So I'm gonna go 10, 10. Yeah, anybody who's done this stuff probably realized you don't have to be a genius to do it. You just have to solder a ton of little wires together. Anybody who thinks they are a genius for working on this stuff, they have ego issues. Anybody can do it, for sure. Get right up on the edge of that so it stays put. Then, and then. So I think what's gonna happen is it's just gonna alternate. Now, because I have the LEDs already alternating as far as their pattern, they go white, amber, white, amber. I should just be able to go one, two, three, four, five. We'll be able to test that theory in just a second. If so, we'll be off to the races in no time. I'll be showing you how these things actually look so that we can play with the animation file. Assuming that it's not a taillight file like I think it is. Oh, come on. Making me look stupid in front of my friends. Plug it in the ghost. And if this scary amount of wiring freaks you out, it's okay. It's not bad that it freaks you out. It's kind of weird. I'm used to seeing it from a lot of years of doing this stuff, but it still doesn't make me feel excited when nothing is staying put. It's all over the place like this. So, survey says, ooh, ooh, we are good. Because what should have happened right there if I did it wrong is white should have lit up. Ooh, buddy. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. First, I'm going to uh, straighten all this stuff up. I'm just gonna solder all those things up really quick. Channels one through 12, and then I will turn them back on, but it's gonna be boring, so just time lapse. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Switch back sequential. That's what I'm talking about. I love that. It's so cool. Now these animations can go in any direction. We can change all of these things so that it starts in the middle and fans out to the side. We can do the animation starting at one side or starting at the other. It doesn't really matter. Now it's all up to the computer file. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. We're gonna explore more of this throughout the week. So join me this week as I post up a bunch of new videos daily. Yeah, buddy. You said you wanted it raw and uncut. Tell me if this sucked. If it did, whatever. You suck. You suck too if you think this sucks. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I gotta go upload this on the computer because what I wanna do is I wanna take these beautiful GTR lights that I'm finishing up tomorrow and I want you to be able to have access to the same files that I create. I'm gonna show you how I create them. We're gonna upload these things together, get them on an amazing all carbon fiber car. Whew, I'm excited. And then I've got another GTR that has to ship out and then another and another and another. So all these files are gonna matter a lot. I need to make tons of them. I'm gonna share with you as I go. Let's do this together. See you guys.